Let's continue golf story. I don't think, uh, can't be. I feel like we're probably like halfway done ish, maybe. I don't know. Level 20. All right, what are we working on here? Oops. Oh, I've got almost $1,000 now. Right, right. We got to convince Max Yards to come to our long drive contest. We have the we have the broken watch. We can give it to this guy. Max is here in business. He won't be interacting with the public today. You know what time it is? I knock off at four. No, sorry. I've got a watch for you. You can check the time yourself. Sneaky. It's knockoff time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's always great to be here at the uh. Where are we again? Bermuda Isles. Of course. Whoa, what was that flicker? That was really weird. I always love playing the Bermuda Isles. Today I'm testing out a brand new club from Pure Strike. Let's take a look at how it performs. Oh shit, I gotta get me one of those. So. It's given me 10 yards at least. If you squint your eyes, you'll notice the grooves are diagonal. This promotes something called transrotational friction, which causes the ball to spin on a third axis and roll further. It also lowers horizontal dispersion by one standard deviation. Wow! Going in the bag, folks. Are we happy? A good effort. The boys in marketing have been toying with the term unbound. All right, let's do another. Dang. What's up, desert? Club feels like pure distance, unbound. That should do it. Let's wrap it up. This club review is made possible by the, by the kind people at Pure Strike. Keep tuning in for more honest club reviews. And the club back. Hey, Max. How did you slip by? Thank you for your support. Max isn't interacting with fans today. We sort of met earlier at Well Worn Grove. Hey, keep it down. What do you want? I want to invite you to our long drive competition. Lorraine? Max is not interested. What? He has other commitments. Is that all? Can I have a turn of that club? No. Wait a moment, Lorraine. Oh, her name is Lorraine. He's talking to her. Okay, I was confused. We've not seen it used by an amateur. Go on then. Have a crack, young fella. Thanks. Turn those cameras off. <laughs> I won't outdrive him, but maybe he'll be impressed if I use Coach's hot potato shot. Holding Y to throw it up and press A at the right time. Man. I can't tell if I'm early or late. There's no, like, meter or anything. Yo, what's up, Chandrian? Good morning. That's not it. Hang on, one more, one more try. He's, he's, he's definitely going to be impressed. One, one more try. One, one, one more, one sec. One more try. Oh, hell yeah, we're golfing. Just getting a feel for it. Good morning, Kazman. I need to hold Y to throw it up, then press A at the right time to hit it. Why Why give you Why give you a limited number of tries for this one? There's no point. That was closer, so maybe I want to go earlier. There we go. That looks good. I'm sure he's impressed. That only took me 20 tries. Wow. Yes, impressive indeed. It must be the diagonal grooves. A cheap trick, nothing more. Will you be competing at the long drive competition? I plan to. Fine, I'll see you there. We'll see what happens at a real golfing event. He just feels the need to flex on a kid, huh? It was a good day of training. It's nice to get out and relax sometimes. I wasn't only here to relax. Oh, I was actually trying to teach you a lesson today. It's important you don't take your training too seriously. Well, today seems like 85% story and like 15% golf. Once upon a time, all I cared about was golf. And now because of that, I have nothing left worth caring for. Coach, what happened? I just told you. <laughs> I cared about golf too much. Sure. 
Yeah, flexing on a literal child. I'll try to get more out of him later. There's the cat on the fucking counter again. I can hear him. Just make sure you never forget those who are important to you. Of course not. What's up, off duty, Bill? I have a feeling this story is going to get heavy. The following day, darkness swallowed the earth. Okay, there we go. Alright, well he's coming. I did it. Max Yards is confirmed for the long drive competition. He didn't tell him what time it was or anything, or like what day. How did you convince him? Nothing special, really. He was quite eager to join. Looks like you actually managed to get everything together. Now all that's left to do is wait for the long drive competition to roll around. It would be good to get a bit of rest in. Afraid not. I need to teach you how to hit a long driver. Meet me on the range. Oh. Our coach is doing heroin kind of heavy. I think more like the second one. I don't think it's gonna I don't think there's gonna be heroin in the story, but I mean at the beginning I think he's talking to like his wife or something. So I guess he's not a child, but he's like... It sounds like he left his job and his wife to... Golf full-time? His wife and job. That's what I said, right? Did I say child? I don't know if there's a child involved. Oh, I said, I guess he's not a child. Okay, I'm. it's very early. Ugh. All right, we're on the range. It's time for you to learn to swing a long driver. I'm guessing it's pretty similar to a normal driver. Actually, they couldn't be more different. I'm guessing I press A three times. Long drivers have four power gauges that you need to hit as the bar fills. Then you will need to press A quickly as it goes back down. Oh, more than three times. Finally hit it once more at the end to set the accuracy. Let's see how you get on. Hey, what? Hit the long driver 280 yards. Jesus. So I need to hit in each of those ranges? I'm very confused. What about charge? What's happening? Huh? I feel like that didn't explain anything. Hey, good morning, Makura. You're getting the hang of it. You ever hit an eagle on a par five on the back nine with a 15 mile per hour crosswind? I don't know if you'll beat Max Yards tomorrow, but you should do well. You should head home now. Well, that was a quick day. All right, I gotta take you to the range. You're gonna hit one ball and then you're gonna go home. Day of the long drive competition. Look at me, I'm Max Yards. <laughs> Ready to start? Sure, let's do it. Why not? I mean, I still don't understand how to use that driver, but whatever. Let's get this thing started. Step aside, people. We all came here today to witness one thing, so here it is. <laughs> Max! Great shot, buddy. That footage is going to be incredible. I just hope the camera isn't hurt. Poor thing took a nasty bump. You're a legend, Max. Oh, please, you give me too much credit. After all, it was these new shoes by Pure Strike that gave me the edge. The pivot action in these things is really unbound. And remember, they look great off the course, too. His head might have come unbound. How are you feeling? Ready to win this? I won't lie, coach. It's getting to me. Why does it keep doing that? Like, I think that's the game, like that flickering. I've never had so many people watching me, and I don't have those pure strike shoes. What if I can't pivot, coach? What if I can't pivot? What if my foot gets stuck and I can't pivot? Don't worry, you can pivot with the best of them. You can never judge how a man is going to react to his first large crowd. It can be scary, but the best ones always get through it somehow. Just remember, everybody here wants you to succeed. You really think so? Hey, honey. What are you doing here? I came to cheer you on. It's a failure. Uh, wow, the ex-wife is here. Looks like she brought her lawyer. 
and to let you know it's not going to work out between us. This here is Tobias. Say something, Tobias. G'day. Tobias owns two phone companies and five phones. Jesus. And he's the world's first analrapist. It's a lot of phones. I can't compete with that. I have six phones. <laughs> no, I can't compete on phones. I need to think of something else. I have eight phones. Focus on your shot. You need to block out the distractions. You're right, coach. Did she pick Tobias? My dad told me there would never be geese to deal with. My dad told me there would always be geese to deal with. I guess this is what he was talking about. <laughs> Go ahead, are you gonna show us your hit? This is what you think you're so good at, right? Don't slice, don't slice, don't slice. Just so you know, this is a really hard club to hit. All right, all right, don't be a wuss here. Let's go. All right, gotta impress the wife. I don't know if I'm supposed to tap it a bunch there. I don't understand what's happening. The long driver 300. Am I supposed to? Is it just going to hit the cameraman no matter what I do? No, it's not. Okay, good. I think I'm out driving Max Yards. Oh, there goes the camera again. really got to get out of the way. Right. 15 bucks, that's it. The guy gave me 17 bucks for doing that hot, dumb hot potato shot. I know you all think I'm cheap. You are. You only gave me 15 bucks for that. But guess what? I got a trophy made for the event. The beauty. Now we've had a bit of an upset here today. This competition was a farce. I didn't know you were bringing in special equipment. If we were using real clubs, I'd have won. I thought you were using pure strike clubs, Max. Yeah, we all thought you would win. I even went so far as to have your name engraved on the trophy ahead of time. So I kind of have to give it to you now. But... What do I get? You get to compete at the tournament tomorrow. Remember not to lose sight of your true goals. On a more important note, it's almost time for our dinner. Come see me in my office when you're ready. Wait, why am I going to the date? I thought he was going to the... I thought he was taking the lady on a date. Okay. I feel like I've, I've kind of exhausted a lot of the, uh, like, the side missions here. Like there's much else to do. May as well just... Going to his office? What's up, Serpenitha? Happy Monday. Ready for dinner? Yes. <clears throat> oh, wait, we're all going on the, uh... Okay. I get fucked out of a trophy and my ex-wife is dating a guy with two phones, yeah. He's, he's got five phones. Five phones. This is the place. I hope we're not late. Don't worry, coach. We can do this. How long am I meant to microwave the roast for? Why are there no microwave instructions? Why did I ever think I could do this? Oh, God. He is screwed. We can do this, but you have to calm down. I'll go and distract them for a bit. 
Just throw it in the microwave and we'll get it out when it looks good. Jesus. Oh, God. I imagine they're cooking away in there. Hi, guys. Here, you want to see my hot potato shot? We've been waiting out here for ages. Wait. Coach wanted us to pick some herbs from the garden. He grows his own herbs. Color me impressed. I grow my own herbs. Come on. It's taking so long. One of the packet is wrapped in foil. Now I understand. I don't see any herbs around here. Sure you do. Look, here they are. Looks like a weed. No. They're a bit unconventional. Coach imports them from overseas. Oh, God. Hope you're taking care of business in there, Coach. Coach is doing great. That's not right. Did I skip a step or something? Come on, can we go back now? Yeah. Can we go inside now? Of course. It's done. Come on, it's freezing in here. I'll just open the door. Good lord, what is happening in there? How's the roast? Aurora Borealis? The exotic herbs are grassy. Apologies if it's a bit overdone. I got distracted setting the table. Mine is lovely, coach. God, nobody likes to suck up. Big day is tomorrow. Things might be a bit hectic when you get to the course. You'll need to find the sign-up desk when you get there. Then you'll be taken to the first tee. <laughs> May I see it? No. Steamed hams, but it's an Australian indie golf game for the Nintendo Switch. Just get going. Yes, me too. Alrighty. God, the it, it it skips around with the like. What is going on? There's like some weird like visual glitches going on right now. I need to like quit out and and come back in. Maybe that's. Man. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but it's it's acting weird today. Let's close that. Let's just reset and see what happens. None of it's a big deal. If I can avoid it, I'd, I'd rather do that. What are you doing, cat? Behaving? All right, she's behaving. Good. Hey, what's up, Polyhydrid? Good morning. I don't think we've seen that Halloween course. It was on the uh, title screen. We got nine and a half hours in here. Okay. Um, no, we're not going to Bermuda Isles. We're going back to Wellworn. We got the course open. We actually get to play golf in Golf Story. And what have we got here, Tucker? Looks like a short tier four golfer, Mike. Is this where I sign up? He didn't quite get all the introduction, Mike. The voice was a little weak, sure. He really needs to turn those vocal cords on if he's going to succeed here today. Still, not too bad. Better than most. Excuse me. Yes, you sign up here. Hey, honey. You again. I think that one surprised him, Mike. Yeah, he certainly wasn't expecting the vengeful wife at 10 yards. <laughs> That's why we say you've got to focus on that course management. You should have identified the hazard from the back of the queue, Mike. Certainly, Tucker. He's found the trouble, that's for sure. Now we'll see what his recovery game is like. What are you doing here? We've come to cheer you on. Right, Tobias? Tobias! Oh, shit, he's on one of his five phones. As your wife, I'm entitled to a good portion of your winnings. Tobias is going to start a new phone thingy. So play well for us. Sure. And he's duffed it again, Mike. He was simply not prepared for today, Tucker. Without question. This is just embarrassing. 
He's going into this tournament at a major deficit today, Tucker. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Yes, certainly one to watch here today at the Wellworn Grove Open. Go speak to the starter when you're ready, kid. We're here on the first tee with somebody very special, Mike. Right you are, Tucker. This one is showing some promise indeed. So if you don't mind us asking, miss, what exactly is your game plan going into today? Well, Tucker, first I'm going to bring up the selfishness of his actions and how he's hurting his family. From there, I will move on to shaming his golfing abilities. I also have a wealth of knowledge of his past failures. Oh, God. Hitting him where it hurts. A solid plan indeed. Can you scooch out the way, Missy? I know all his strengths and his weaknesses, Tucker. I'm looking to close this one out early here today at the Wellworn Open. And I assure you that at the end of the day, Tobias and I will be leaving with at least half of those winnings. Well, you've been in perfect form so far. Let's hope that continues. As far as I'm concerned, it's yours to lose out there today. I'd say good luck, but I hardly think you need it. Thanks, Tucker. Always a pleasure. Do you think if I aim a, a, like a drive at her forehead, do you think people would believe that that was an accident? Damn, Laura. Well, she's really improved. Wow, what a great interview. I can't believe we got it on camera. Talk about lucky. Take your shot now, Laura. Where's my, uh, where's my, where's my power driver? Guess I don't have one yet. slope pretty strong wind mm, stay out of there stay out of there all right it's gonna be a tough putt but I think I have very little chance of sinking this putt. Very little chance. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Dude, putting in this game is impossible. I swear. I almost missed that one. <sighs> Should we have a prediction? Let's have a, uh, let's do a quick prediction. Will I... Will Hank win the Open? Yes. No. Two minutes. You saw hole one. Maybe there won't be an actual winner, in which case I'll just refund points, but we'll see. Looks like I'm in the lead. Why? My name is player? Like, they never give the guy a name at all? They don't let you, like, enter a name? They could have at least given the guy a name. Like, anything. Oh, well, they're already on... Okay, wait. They're already on holes four, five, and six over there, so. Huh. You know, I'm kind of tempted to just hit it in the bunker. Just to avoid the mole here. Although I think the mole is just going to put it in the bunker anyway.
Let's see what happens. Oh my god. That was that was a great shot. Where's all the non-believers at? Well, if, if everybody wins... Okay. Somebody, somebody doesn't believe in me, but... I mean, I think I'm gonna win. I don't... I don't... We'll see. Well, not if I... Not if I hit like that, I'm not gonna win. Focus shot? Did I ever learn about focus shots? I saw it like you can do like this thing with the gauge right above my head. I don't know. I don't even know what that does. Yeah, this is the tournament. It slows the power bar and cuts the wind. Ah, so you have like, you can't use all of them. I feel like that's something that I learned about like way at the beginning of the game and then com immediately forgot about like completely. You've never used it, you forgot to. They never tell you. Yeah, they let me use the power driver like once, but I, I don't actually have it yet. Unless they put it in my inventory and I just didn't equip it, which is also possible. Ooh, this is gonna... God damn it, I can never, like... <laughs> I was like one pixel of the power meter from making it. All right, well, I seem to be the only one under par, so. Dude, end dog isn't doing too hot. But then if I if I win, if I win, my wife takes half my winnings. I don't want her to have any money. Like, should I just, should I throw? <laughs> like, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like throwing. I didn't really investigate the uh really investigate the course here. Alright, that counts as the fairway. Hey, good morning, thoughts. Did I name my character player? I don't think that I named him at all. I don't I, there was no I don't remember a single spot where it made me name him. Alright. Slope's going that way. Let's do uh uh
You ask the same thing in this event? Yeah, it seems uh it seems weird that they wouldn't even like just give him a default name. Is there a way to name him? Like a hidden <laughs> The option to name your player is hidden or something? Alright, time to fail another putt. Here we go. Fuck. Hold you. Well, I can't seem to come under par in any of these holes. I feel like the holes got harder. I feel like they got harder since the last time. Like, I got an eagle on that second hole once, it looks like. Dude, Lucky's playing too? Is he allowed? Thank you, Golden Jewels. Shooter. Um, okay. Google says there is no way to customize your character. Okay. That almost feels like a placeholder thing. Like they put that, they put in player and then they just forgot to give him a name. God damn it. Long drive than focus chip. Interesting. What's up, poor taco? the slope okay another no i'm not i'm not doing we're, we're putting we're putting got a medium slope so we're hitting her pretty hard that'll work hit the flagpole and it most always goes in that's what i've that's what i've found with the putting it seems like there have been so many times though when i've like tried to chip it in where i hit the flagpole and then it doesn't go in Still anyone's game. I, we got, what, four holes left? People who are only two strokes away from me. See me like just force, like control that ball away from the mole. What a shot, man. Two under par. All right, seems like a pretty easy shot, easy drive. Good 
feeling good about this one. God, the fuck was that? Matter more later when you're doing 120 yard ship ins for birdie. What what the hell? <laughs> this game's lying to me. Yeah, the wind took it farther than I than I expected, I guess. No, not the nine iron. Flagpole, it'll go in every time. See how silly you sound. 100% this game won. Gold medals on all holes. Oh my god. All right, two more holes. That I am exhausted today. Forget work. I'm just I'm taking a nap all day. I don't care. Coffee's not doing it for me. Um, a little worried about that slope. A little worried about that slope. You slept nine hours and you're still dying. Let's call in sick today. Monster Hunter for like 10 hours yesterday. How do you feel about it? I've seen uh, I've seen mixed reviews on that game. All right, I think the wind is going to affect it more than I think. You love it, but you also like Monster Hunter. All I've played of Monster Hunter was the demo, I think, of, of, uh, world. Ugh, this is just... Discovered pretty quickly that it's not for me. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, crank this thing, see what happens. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. All right, that one feels good. You like Monster Hunter? You're leery of this one? I think I have the full version of Monster Hunter World on PS5 now, don't I? Like, wasn't that free or something? I don't remember. Me and my consoles, that's right. The filthy casual. Always have been. Playing PC games with controller. I can see how Risk of Rain 2 would be good with mouse and keyboard. I might have to try it out. This is going to be a tough one. Go like that. Feeling good about this one. Feeling good about it. I instantly feel worse. Yeah, that's not very good. Instant remorse, yep. Was this, that must have been the wind again. I'm like, I I'm, I feel like I'm always undercompensating for the wind. I 
There we go. Alright, we done? <laughs> Ugh. Change. What does change mean? What does change mean? You got A for continue, X to change? What does change do? Oh, okay. It just shows you different things. Gotcha. Ugh, well, nobody even came close. Dude, Lara hit eight? Come on, Lara. You can do better than that. Victory! Why does this trophy say max yards on it? Level up. Um, let's go to, there we go. Well, the competition has come to a close. We had some serious contention today. I just spit on my microphone. Before we get to the winner, we'll start with the losers. Yes. Hello, sir. You had an up and down game today. You played quite well early on, but when things started going bad, you got crazy. We heard that you actually broke three of your clubs in half and threw an entire sleeve of balls into the river in rage. How do you respond to this? Yeah, mate. Just, you know, played some good golf out there. Hit a few fairways, which is always nice. Putting was on point today, and I got a few birdies to drop, which always helps. Yes, but how do you respond to the accusations of violence? Always great playing at Well Worn Grove. Hit a few fairways, got some good putts to drop. There's a lot of good players in this field, so you can't take any putt for granted. Max out that spin. You want to see the ball come back and hit you in the face after a drive. I do want to. I kind of want to see what happens. Pretty difficult day overall, but a good one, and I was lucky to see some putts drop. Thank you for the tell-all interview. See if you can get anything out of your uh, out of your one, mate, Mike. It's a weird sentence. Lucky. As the club owner, some find it a conflict of interest that you are competing here today, especially when taken with the fact that you cheated on most of the holes. Do you think this blatant disregard for the rules is bad for golf? I had a good round, hit some fairways, which is always nice. I thought I'd be in contention for the lead until I missed a few short putts, but hey, what are you going to do? You could try answering my question. How can he... Like, he must be awful at cheating. Dude didn't even win. Sure thing. You know what? I think I think people bet that I would win the competition and I think that they should be paid. Of course I'll win the Open. God, how could you ever doubt me? You like these realistic interviews? It was a great day out there today. Great weather, great golf. It was a tough field out there and I have all the respect in the world for these athletes. It could have been anybody's tournament today, Glenn. My name's Mike. Back to you, Tucker. I'm not bothering with the last one. Let's go speak to the vengeful wife again. All right, take care, Val. Have a good one. See you in 30 minutes. I had something good to say. I bet you did. Look at you up there. I can see this all going to your head already. Have some dignity for once. Lara. You showed some good form early on today. But I hear you hit it into the water on the 7th, a record eight times. That is quite a lapse in concentration. Do you think you aren't cut out to play at this level, or do you put it down to poor preparation? The conditions here are terrible. Lucky should be ashamed of himself for presenting such a terrible course. And it probably doesn't help that I had to mow the course myself before the tournament. How many professional athletes can say that? Maybe I'm just tired from pushing a mower around. A riveting tale. Now it's time for the payout, which is frankly obscene for such a low-class event. Jesus Christ! Don't forget, I get half. Ah, you bitch. 10% off the gross of the gross goes to the course. Swindler, don't forget to give old coach a taste. What do you, you don't, you didn't teach me jack shit. Don't feel obliged, but I did give you some lessons. Look at you vultures. Have some self-respect. How can you stand there and beg for money you didn't earn? Doesn't it make you feel bad? There's this really nice mower I'd like to buy. <laughs> A $67 mower, huh? I wonder if there's still enough here to pay off my microwave. But who cares about that? I won. I'm one step closer to the Pro Tour. Why are you buying him a mower? He made you... He should be paying you. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to date the other coach. If my short game was better, I'd have beaten you and you know it. My long game was pretty good today, though. Hey, my short game sucks. You can't say that. You played well. If I was better, I would have beaten you, and you know it. Exactly. Something I wish I'd told you before the tournament. 
I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Far too many mistakes. Oh, maybe he did do heroin. This is where the heroin story comes out. Both as a co coach and as a man. But I know that you won't be one of them. And through you, I might be vindicated. I don't think that's how that works. So I'm here to the very end. It means a lot to me, coach. I'm still going to work hard to earn your respect. Oh, stop it, you two. Coach, we all lose a little respect for you when you talk like that. This is embarrassing. Have some integrity, please. How does it feel to win? Incredible. I feel indestructible right now. Like I could do anything with my $30 that I won. You won, it's up to you. How should we celebrate? I know just the thing. If we celebrate with golf, look at all these boxes. You'll have to check them all until you find the glove. I think the adrenaline is starting to wear off. Pizza party? I'm realizing this was a bad idea. Dude, pizza sounds so good right now. The glove is yours and you know it. Just find it fast so we don't get caught. Wait, are we are we at the wife's house? Golf magazines. Boxes and boxes. Not this one. Nope. Nope. A couple of jousting sticks. Nah. Unopened collectibles. I'm trapped! No. Piano stuff. Oh, it makes sense. More mangoes than anyone would rightly need. Hide? Oh god, is she gonna come home? We have to, like, sneak around the house? Kitchen stuff. Empty. Cups. Empty. Oh, look, it's a frisbee. Newspapers. There it is. Found dad's old glove. Now you can do a power shot during golf rounds. Sweet. I mean, there might be something cool in the other ones, right? Guess <laughs> I can just sleep in her bed. Two books and a pen. Can I like pee on her pillow or something? You're not as boring as I originally thought. All right, let's get out of here. It says seven handicap, please. There's no way this guy's under 20. Excuse me. Okay, write this. I'm a retired professional golfer and current full-time coach, and I'm seeing some good movements in this swing. He's hitting some good positions, certainly. Okay, I wrote it. Now I'm a secretary, huh? Should we get back to real golfing now? What else is on there? Let's see. If this guy is a pro, I'm a golfing prodigy. Actually, that one was written by Lara. <laughs> Let's ignore that. My handicap is minus seven and this guy's swing is laughable. Okay, how about... I never knew being a pro meant you had to play perfectly every round. No, delete that. Let's see your swing, mate. I'm a retired professional, and fine, but can this be the last one? It's important you take control of your media image. You don't want to leave that up to the fans. Well, apparently he's just getting caught up in, with the trolls on Twitter. Surprised low handicappers could be so misinformed. I think they might be lying, coach. No, I shouldn't think so. I've been debating them online for years. What would be the point of making things up? What else is on there? It hurts my eyes to watch this guy's swing. If he's really a pro, I think he might be ready to turn amateur. Hang on, that one was also written by Lara. Speaking of pros, do you think they'll let me be one now? I shouldn't think so. The well-worn Grove Open isn't recognized by the Pro Tour. It only outranks the weekend juniors by a small margin. So what can we do? Good question. Got it. Great. Right, just enjoy the tournament, buddy. It's a game. Lighten up. I thought young people had a sense of humor. Don't worry. Maybe you aren't mechanically sound, but you are a tournament winner. We can parlay that into an invite into the Tidy Park Golf and Country Club. Let's meet up at that course. It's just over the bridge west of here. New course. All right. On my way now. Hold up. Upload my last comment first. Okay. Get the hell out of here. This one. 
Oh, there's that, uh, there's that other course. Oak Manor. That's cool. So it looks like there's, uh, it looks like there's two more parks, including this one that we haven't been to yet. Let's go to Tidy Park. Hoodlums. Stop acquainting yourself with the course. You need a membership to do that. But I... Forget it. You ain't getting in there. They don't let outsiders in their la -di da fancy course. Our job is to keep you rapscallions out. Run a membership recruitment drive. Let us in, bro. You can't lock all the best members away. You'll find none here of your ilk. You don't know that. Mate, I'm the hottest thing going at the moment. I need to train on different courses. Apologies. We didn't know. Feel free to train. Elsewhere. Got him! Whatever, I got no respect for nobody. I don't even care. I'm a train here anyway. <laughs> Please don't do that. Come on, mate. You're gonna have a hit. Can you tell this game was made by an Australian studio? Come join your club, mates. Coach did want me to play here. Could this be what he was talking about? Alright, let's hit him with the old hot potato shot. bad. I really want to get it in that hole with the hot potato. Miso... to go back. Going too early. Nope. That could be good. It could be good! Fuck. Alright, a little closer. It sucks because I can't, like, I can't do it too close to this guy because it won't let me. I'm going to waste as much time as I need to to get this done. How many balls am I carrying around? Don't worry about it. keep hitting the same spot on that sign. I don't understand what the timing is. Am I going to, am I hitting it too early? <sighs> Come on! Intensely personal question. Please don't do that. Well, now I can only hit them. Dude. How was I how was I doing it before? There we go. Come on. Get in there. <laughs> that should have gone in. This is the kind of content you guys sub for. Same shot over and over. Come on. There we go. That looks good. Yes! First try. Show them they can't stop us playing their course. Three out of four shots landed on the green should show them. I've landed plenty of shots on the green.
Uh, that was a little weak. That might roll out. Oh, okay. We're good. Because my timing was a bit sloppy, just needed to be tater. All right, let me in. All right, we can hit this last one, right? And get it in here. Let me in. This song's a little weird. Oh, it's probably from the boombox, right? That's how we do it. We own this course. It was kind of impressive. Just a bit. But this guy. Why does he look... Hang on. This is the one we were supposed to let in. Yes. Oh. Fine. I guess you may proceed. You go straight to the clubhouse. No funny business, all right? Sick. Go do some damage, mate. Let's do some damage. Fancy! Glad you could make it. What's going on? How did you get us in here? I'm a member from way back in the day. It's a very old club. Pro Tour used to be built around this course, but they refused to update the course to meet new guidelines, so it was eventually downgraded. However, there remains an old gentleman's agreement. Whoever wins the Tidy Park Championship gets to join the Pro Tour. That's incredible. So how do we do it? I got you here. The rest is up to you. I suggest you get to schmoozing. All right, let's schmooze. Stay away from Oak Manor. I feel like a different person since going there. In fact, I don't know why I even kept this key. Here, you take it. All right, that was easy. Now I can never go back. Don't go there. Here's a key for it, though. A different person, you say. I'm impressed with what you've done so far. Come see me in my office after this event. I have some exciting business prospects for you. They got Albert Einstein on piano? Stop it, I'm playing. My apologies. You may not think it to look at me, but I often shoot in the 60s. Considering par is 72 on most courses, I guess you could say I, got a few, I get a few birdies. That's what a consistent swing will do for you. Good for you. Long drives are a young man's game. When you consistently split fairways with your driver like I can, distance becomes less useful. They even send the marshal around to speed up slow groups. Card swallow. It's true. What is the world coming to? Blah, 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 blah. All right. All right, did I schmooze enough? Can I go to like Oak Manor or something? And he had three wedges in his bag. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, you don't say. Indeed. Yes, quite. Verily. Certainly. Of course. Indubitably. True dat. <laughs> Having a rich people conversation. Hi, Lara. What are you doing here? What's that supposed to mean? And hey, don't be a dick, dude. Why would we not have the right to be here? The real question is who let you in here? This is supposed to be a classy event. We're celebrating Lara's advancements. I teach a few of the members here, so I get invited to these things. I don't usually come, but I thought Lara might like it. All right, who's the mysterious man in the trench coat and the bowler? My work takes me to many mysterious and dangerous places. It's great to have a place like this to come back to. All right, very interesting, thank you. Goodbye. Can't leave the party when I have business here. Where is Jerome? He knows how easily rumors start around here. I wish he would be more responsible. Mr. Reddit. <laughs> oh no, we weren't invited to this event. Alfred is halfway through his round. We're not allowed to stop caddying until he's finished. 
Par par bogey bogey par par par. No, it was par par bogey par bogey bogey par. No, that doesn't feel right either. I'll just say two under. Can I help you? No, just schmoozing. What a smart looking boy you are. You remind me of the son I always wish I had. Sometimes I wish I made it more of a priority. Never mind that, golf has treated me well. Still, it would be nice to have a young feller even just for a while. Why haven't I seen you in the pro shop? I'm not a member here. Codswallop, you should come to the pro shop. I've just got some new clubs in. Oh, really? Got some real beauties. I'll come check them out if I can. All right, does that mean I get to leave now? Looks like he's free now, good. Are you the owner? Indeed. Oh, you don't say, barely. Can I help you? Actually, I'd like to apply for a membership. I'll tell you what I told my son. We only take gentlemen and gentle women. What does that entail? A gentleman fulfills three criteria. What's the first criteria, you ask? It's a lot of... <sighs> he must bring his own caddy. The second is a... Real set of clubs. And the last... Etiquette. Verily. He must practice proper golf etiquette. Didn't I like hit three, like hit, hit a guy twice on the way in here? I should have a problem finding a caddy at least. I don't think etiquette is my strong suit. Would you like to be my caddy again? Afraid not. I can only work for Wellworn Grove. Okay, sure. Coach? No. No, of course not. Hey, <laughs> Lara. Sure, I'll be your caddy. Really? Absolutely not. I'm a better golfer than you are. You should be my caddy. I'll have to get back to you on the caddy. And the other things... I can teach you etiquette. See me for a lesson, and I think I can get real clubs at the pro shop, maybe. You'll have to figure this stuff out on your own. I need to attend to matters here for a bit. Come see me once you have everything sorted. Where am I supposed to get a decent set of clubs? When they say decent, they mean old. You need some vintage equipment. They might have some in the pro shop. Better get to work. Come see me when you're eligible to join. Great, guess I'd better get started. Bunch of hoity-toity folks in this, uh, in this one. I bet the archaeologist can help in my quest for new clubs. Oh, that's a good okay. So we've got a lot of uh we got a lot of options here. The archaeologist at Lurker Valley. Etiquette lessons. Turn to the clubhouse when you're a gentleman. Talk money. You're eligible to join, okay. Are you ready to learn some golf etiquette? I like to think I'm a nice enough person. I probably just needed a couple of tips. I need to make you understand, having started at Wellworn Grove, your idea of golf etiquette will be warped. For example, did you know it's considered impolite to hit balls at people and property? In fact, on many courses, it's even considered an offense. Are you sure? That sounds like an odd rule to me. She heard about the all the, all the golf balls I threw at people. I was warned that golf had many strange rules. This may take a while. Like everything else in golf, it's nothing a few drills can't fix. Let me know when you're ready to start. I am ready, yeah. Let's do it. The group in front has stopped for a rest. What would you do in this situation? Hit over the top of them. On this course, rest breaks occur often and there are no time limits. If you can't wait, it's customary to play around the group ahead. This means using the neighboring fairway. I see. Let's see if we can still reach the green in two while playing around. Oh, I really want to hit Lara. <laughs> This is your idea of etiquette? Uh, a little strong. Thank you, flag. <laughs> I 
Got saved on that one. You showed great restraints. You ready for my next lesson? Sure. Can you see this? See what? Who said that? Behind you. Oh, there you are. It is considered poor taste to go for the green when you're in trees. The best thing to do is to hit your ball back onto the closest fairway. Even if you have a good shot at the flag. Let's see how you go. Well, I'm not going to do that. No way I'm doing that. Care if it's good etiquette or not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste shots. Mm, that might not make it. Oh God, thank you. Oh, I still have two hits left. It didn't even matter. Whoops. Fuck off. There we go. Success. Practicing good etiquette won't get you low scores, that's for sure. Why do you think the tour pros are so rude? Keep going. Let's learn some etiquette. The final thing I'll teach you is the caddy rule. It's considered polite to take your caddy's advice no matter what it is. Knowing this, you'll need to practice this shot with different types of clubs. You don't want to be thrown off by your caddy at the last moment. What if my caddy's an idiot? She's saying that I need to use the driver? Whatever. goes the golfing it's going all right we won the well-worn open today got uh i'm getting etiquette lessons seems like there's been a lot more story today than golf but still fun your caddy will have a difficult time tr tripping you up that should be enough etiquette to see you through your time here all right good enough enough etiquette thank you for the follow a lot of rules, and frankly, nobody knows all of them. Okay, let's check out the rest of the course here. Caddy clubs and etiquettes. Would you like me to teach you how to use your putting iron? Yes, please, but where are the greens? They're right here. We don't have the fancy flat grass, but this stuff gets the job done. The trick is to hit a little harder than you might normally do. Chipping becomes necessary closer to the hole than on the greens you are used to as well. Why don't you try some putts to get a feel for it? You'll need to use a mixture of putting and chipping. Remember to hold ZL or ZR for approach shots. Alright. Let's try the putter. How hard are we talking here? Let's see what the... Uh... Alright, this one's definitely, this one's definitely a putt. Well, unless, can you like, yeah, this one's definitely a, or a, definitely a chip is what I meant. Nice. 
So I actually almost didn't play Golf Story this morning because I got sucked back into Binding of Isaac over the weekend. <laughs> or just over like the course of the past week. I might play some more some more uh, Binding of Isaac on stream after we finish Golf Story. Been having a lot of fun with that. Come on, get in there. Uh, I think we can put this one in, right? Is it like double power? Is that roughly what you need? Wow. You're starting it back up today. Such a good game. I was, um, I deleted my original file, um, a while ago, but I had a file, I had a file on there that had some stuff in it. But there's a lot of stuff that I'm missing. Like, I ended up filling out all the cards, but I didn't do things like donate all of the, um, I didn't donate to the shop or anything like that. So that's not full. Um, and like I don't have, I didn't pick up all the items, cause like it took me, it didn't take me all that long to fill out all the cards, except for the Lost. I'm also only talking about Rebirth, no like Afterbirth or Afterbirth birth Plus or anything. Um, where is... Oh, there it is. Um, but I never did anything, I never, uh... I never beat the game as the Lost, and I kinda wanna do that. I've been, I was trying over the weekend and it was not going well. <laughs> fucking hard man yeah repentance looks really cool I'm not gonna get it immediately but I'm sure I'll grab it eventually okay you don't have a hundred percent file yeah I, I want to 100 percent uh rebirth and then I um I haven't done much with Afterbirth or Afterbirth Plus. I, I, I kind of like fell out of uh, playing Isaac right when those came out. Like I bought them and then I, I think I toyed around with them for like a little bit. And then I was like, I just, I'd played so much Binding of Isaac at that point that I just kind of got burnt out, I think. Play these greens enough and you won't be able to go back. I think I will. These greens suck. Um, ba, ba, da, da. Why can you only reduce power? You can't reduce anything in any of the other points. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Oh my god, this music's gonna put me to sleep. Hurry and find your next objective. Yeah, I'm not gonna last very long. Oh, please help. Anyone? Oh, thank god. Puddles are a serious concern on this course, but there is a club that can help with this. Chime sounds like sunshine. If you find one, I'll teach you how to use it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should go to the uh, pro shop. Alright, what does this guy have to say? Golf courses are out of control these days. Back in my day, we had one set of tees for all players, and if you wanted a hole to be harder, you used your putter. Give it a go. This guy's doing like the no-hit Dark Souls challenge of golf. You have a 100% Afterbirth file but didn't pick up Afterbirth Plus given the mixed reviews. Were there, there were mixed reviews for Afterbirth Plus? I didn't know that. Yeah, Re wasn't wasn't Repentance like was that fan made or something? Didn't that start as like a fan made mod? 
Or am I off base on that? So we're just gonna putt, putt, putt away, huh? I don't even know where I'm going. Extreme mini golf. Picked up some of the team members from the mod. That's really cool. It's neat when devs do that. Hey, T. Harris. It's going well. You're having a good Monday. Um, I think I'm going to have to still max this out here. God, why does it roll slower on the green than it does on the fairway? There you go. Just hit the flag. See? Wasn't that more fun than slogging a driver 300 yards? Totally more fun. Pathfinder Kingmaker? Speaking of fan-made stuff, I still have to, I still have to play uh, Sonic Mania. I've been meaning to for a while. It's been on my list for a bit. Weird and janky real time with pause system, and some dude wrote a mod that made it use the turn based system from Pathfinder entirely. Pathfinder entirely changed the combat. Damn. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Good luck with your conference call. It's too long of a walk to the first hole. Okay. Hired him to write it into the main game. Dang. Get some vintage irons. I'll teach you how to play them. Why would I? Want? All right, let's go. Should we go back to? Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Would you like me to teach you how to play this hole? Sure, why not? And then let's go get the uh, the clubs. The hazards on this course will be the end of you. That sounds. That's very threatening. I only want you playing from this from the fairways on this hole. To help, let's have you do the whole thing with your wedge. You won't be able to hit as far, so you shouldn't get in any trouble. I don't think these guys have any idea what they're talking about. I don't think anybody that I've talked to on this course has any idea what they're talking about. How are you doing, Skeletor? Good morning. You want to play the hole with your putter. You want to play it all with your wedge. Get there. There we go. Teach the old man where you can stick that wedge. Easy peasy. from playing Super Mario Odyssey to dealing with cranky SMW ROM hackers that hate hate fast retry. A good analogy. You played that whole smart. I'd, Im I'd implore you to play the same way on the course. Don't be tempted by low scores. Yeah, shh. who wants low scores in golf? All right, old man. Don't talk to me. Yeah, I was confused by that too. Is that the Australian spelling of implore? All right, let's go back to uh, Lurker Valley. Is that, the, is that what it's called? Yeah, Lurker Valley. All right, where's the archaeologist? 
There we go. I was hoping I might be able to employ your expertise. I thought we might be able to dig up an old golf club. And you thought there might be one here? I just thought there might... I think you were right. In fact, my tracker is bugging me as we speak. I think you might find it on the Wii Links. Could it be this easy? Uh, where's the Wii Links? Oh, isn't that... That's like right up here, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, found it. Old club. <laughs> Obsolete form of implore. Ah, so he's, uh, because he's old? Is that the idea? Could it be what I need? What do you think about this? Yowza, this thing is ancient. How old do you think? Let's see. Blue clubs haven't been a thing for a while now. I'd put it at two, maybe even three product cycles back. Possibly as old as six months. Oh, actually, I think I saw Ron head out with it this morning. I'll return it to him next time I see him. I was kind of hoping I might find something a bit older. 50 years older, actually. 50 years? There's no way people played golf that long ago. At any rate, a job like that certainly exceeds my capabilities, but perhaps with the help of a specialist, I've got it. Meet me at the soda bar. Does that mean the well-worn one? What are you talking about? It must be. <sighs> Your golf clubs are from high school? I don't even own golf clubs. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of the clock. Oh, man. Today's gonna be rough. Today's gonna be rough. Implore was this defined as obsolete in Webster's Dictionary 1913. So, very, very old form. Alright, well, the archaeologist is here. Alright. I'm gonna call it there for the day, because I just saw what time it is. I have to get to work. Oh, man. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for hanging out this morning. Gonna go, uh, probably fall asleep at my desk and, and pretend to work. I'll try my best, anyway.